What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we are gonna check out the Mesa Boogie Mark 7. Ah, sh camera already died. Let's do it! Alright guys, hope you're doing great out there today. If this is your first time here at my channel, my name's Kyle. Thanks for stopping by. I am a super punchable guy who typically takes all sorts of awesome high gain related guitar equipment. I record it with a simple SM57 setup and I give you the unprocessed audio on your end. So if you're into E standard thrash riffs, dropsy hardcore riffs, and dudes with an unhealthy beef jerky obsession, you're in the right place. Consider hitting the like button and subscribing on your way out so you don't miss any more of my stuff. Thanks! Alright guys, so... I am very, very happy to say that today we have the Mesa Boogie Mark 7 here for a little playthrough. No, it is not the head version, it's the rack mount version, but this was the only one that I was able to get my hands on quickly. And based on the amount of comments that you guys left on my Mark 5 playthrough last week, you really wanted to see me check this thing out. So I went ahead and made it happen. Now, Mesa Boogie did not send me this, so I have to send a massive thank you over to Zounds because they are the ones who provided this Mark 7 in order for me to create this playthrough video for you guys. So everybody say thank you Zounds. And honestly, I couldn't be more grateful for them being willing to send one out. I'm super pumped. Thanks again to them. Affiliate link down below in the description if you would like to purchase this or some of the other gear that will be featured in this video. With that being said, this is not a sponsored video and I can say whatever the hell I want. So the first thing that I'm gonna say right off the bat is this thing sucks. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time. You know what this wall is missing? Another amp. That was a lie. I actually think that this thing sounds incredible. I've only spent a couple minutes with this amp, but right off the bat, I mean, I was able to get this thing dialed in really quickly. That tone that you guys heard was on the 2C Plus setting on channel three, and that was really the first tone that I dialed in, and I was super happy with that, so I said, Let's go ahead and roll with it. But with that said, I'm gonna try avoid talking too much in the beginning of this video. We're just gonna jump in and try to get some awesome tones out of this thing. For that intro clip, I was using my Balliger type in here, my favorite guitar with my Seymour Duncan distortion in the bridge. We are going through my 1999 Mesa traditional 4x12 cab with an SM57 on the original V30 on the bottom here. And then up top, I'm gonna get some hate right off the bat because yes, I was boosting this amplifier. I was boosting it with a KHDK Ghoul Screamer. I always screw that up when I try to say it. And I know a million people right off the bat are gonna start crying in the comments because you don't need a boost with the mark. <laughs> Shut the f up. It's my channel and I will do what I want. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that boost off for you guys. So real quick, before I do jump into the playthrough, what is new about this amplifier? You guys are probably gonna be able to tell me more than I know off the top of my head. Really, it just seems like Mesa have refreshed this thing with MIDI capability and they have put in the, uh, the Cab Clone IR, which is basically the two notes technology. So you are able to use this thing, not only silently, but able to run direct to the front of house with impulse responses. I don't know what that hand motion was. Let's just dis disregard that. But anyways, yeah, as far as features, it just seems like it was updated with newer technology and they have slightly changed some of the modes on channel three and channel two. There is a new Mark seven mode on channel two, which a lot of people are super interested in. I will try to demo that mode as best as possible. And then over here on channel three, we no longer have an extreme mode. We've got the Mark II B mode, we've got the 2C Plus mode, and we have the Mark IV mode. And those are the modes that I'm gonna be testing on this channel, as well as the crunch on channel two, because the crunch on channel two, in my opinion, on the Mark V was one of the best tones that I got out of that amp, especially when I used one of those godforsaken boosts. 
Throughout the video, I will be playing with and without boosts. I will be switching out a couple of different guitars. We're gonna leave the cab and the SM57 in place for whatever I do. We're gonna check some different tunings and stuff. But with all that being said, guys, this is a metal and hardcore and punk oriented channel. Those are the tones that I go for. So if you're here for tones that are not those things, there are already a plethora of other videos for you guys to check out that feature those tones. But I do encourage you, if you stay here and you get pissed off because I don't play your favorite riff or your favorite lead, go ahead and let me know how much you hate me down in the comments because the engagement helps the channel and I really appreciate it. All right, with that being said, let's go over to channel two. I'm making all sorts of weird noises. I currently have it on the crunch mode. We've got the EQ engaged because uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with Mesa Mark series amplifiers, the EQ is an absolute necessity because without the EQ, this amp is all mids. It's like being uh, an adult film star and being all balls. Sure, it's gonna get noticed, but not for the right reason. So the EQ is going to be engaged at all times when I am using this amp. And of course, I'll be adjusting the EQ sliders and stuff. But with that said, let's hear some tones. <laughs> I very, very briefly messed with this before uh, starting the recording of this video, so I already basically have a tone dialed in that I'm pretty happy with. Dude, I already absolutely love that. One thing that I have noticed right off the bat, because I did recently review or play through the Mark V, I struggled with getting basically every frequency just in the right place where I wanted it. There was either too much like sub low or there was too much like fizzy and harsh top end or the mids just weren't quite broad enough. I have not been having that issue with this amplifier whatsoever. On the same cab with the same guitar, I feel like the EQ on this thing, they figured it out a little bit better. It's a little bit more balanced. And I have been just absolutely loving every quick tone that I have dialed out of this thing. With that being said, I would like a little bit more gain here. If you don't know how the mark controls work, basically diming the treble will give you the most signal. It doesn't really make the amp super bright. It just kind of tightens the amp up and it gives you the most saturation. The crunch channel on here is super open. I feel like all of the stuff is in the right place, meaning the, the EQ frequencies and everything. I think it sounds really, really good through this cabinet. Uh, let's go ahead and kick on a tube screamer just to get a little bit more gain out of this particular channel. Can never tell if that damn light's on or not. That's the good stuff right there. All right, so I am going to bump the bass control and the mid control up just a tad to widen those frequencies out a little bit. Ah, yes. All right, I am already having a great time. Let's turn that Tube Screamer off though. Let's scoop the mids just a little bit. That 
That's exactly how the riff is played. But you definitely get the idea. It definitely uh, really removes those mids, just bumping that slider down past a certain point, much like all of the other Mark series amplifiers. <laughs> But I like my mids. So we're going to leave it right there. Uh, yeah, that was the Crunch Channel pretty much in a nutshell. Why don't we try another boost? Let's try a Boss SD1. I honestly am really digging that. We're going down into Drop C to do a down tune riff. So we are back up to drop D. By the way, we're gonna be in 90 watt mode on all settings here because I like it loud. Let's go down to Mark 7. Okay, immediately, it's very crunchy, it's much fatter, a lot more bass response. Can't say I love that. It's really crunchy, the gain is pretty much maxed out right now too, so we're not gonna get any more saturation than that really. Um, it definitely needs some more presence. that I really don't I feel like crunch sounded incredible this setting is uh, not nearly as saturated I'm gonna turn that gain down it's not nearly as saturated the gain is much crunchier um and it's it's kind of scooped out in the mid frequencies a little bit more anyways let's pull the gain back to right here about nine o'clock for sure how about dialing the treble back Okay, so the treble on this mode does not affect our overall saturation. So we can actually use it to adjust the high end as opposed to adjusting the amount of tightness and the amount of saturation. Oh, but the mids have a lot of effect on the amount of saturation. Alright, so this mode is way different from pretty much any of the other Mark III, the Mark IV, Mark Vs that I have messed with. Uh, this is like a whole new learning curve. Here we go. Ah, uh, man, I can't say that I'm really liking this mode all that much, guys. Let's try just the basic Tube Screamer. So that mode, this mode, just really not my favorite, uh, very crunchy. The mids are in a weird place. Uh, it's definitely not as tight of a response. What happens if we do dial it for a thicker, just more mid scoop tone? Let's turn that tube screamer off.
Yeah. All right, so that's Mark 7 mode. Obviously, there might be some more EQ tricks and stuff to this mode that I haven't figured out yet, but at first glance, man, the crunch just absolutely blows this mode away. Not exactly sure what Mesa's marketing uh, literature was for the Mark 7 mode, like who it's aimed for, but it definitely ain't me. So with that being said, let's go over to channel three, uh, back over to the 2C plus mode. Here's what we got. All right, so that's the Mark II C mode. Let's go into the 2B mode. I'm pretty sure this mode is not meant to be high gain whatsoever, so we'll just take a quick little glance at it. Uh, definitely not a high gain setting, but let's switch over to the Mark IV mode because I haven't really messed with this yet. This is by far the gainiest and the most compressed uh, mode on this amplifier. All right, so with no boost, it is pretty freaking tight. Let's go ahead and bump that gain up. I like it, I really do. I like 2C plus mode better, but I definitely do not hate this. Let's pull those lower mid sliders down uh, and the 2200 hertz up to get a little bit more upper mid aggression. Woo, that is aggressive in a good way. Sounding great. Let's try this mode with a boost real quick. Uh, there's just so much ground to cover on these Mark amplifiers that I hate spending too much time on a single tone, even though I'm enjoying that. Let's kick on the classic Tube Screamer. Super, super mid forward, super mid aggressive, uh, very, very tight and punchy. It's very compressed though. This mode is more compressed than the 2C Plus, and for that reason, I think I like the 2C Plus mode more. But let's turn that overdrive off. Let's grab a guitar with lower output pickups. I've also got some EMGs over here just to sample how it reacts. All right, guys, I have my Heritage H150 Artisan Aged here with the Duncan Antiquity pickups. Uh, I've turned the boost off, but changed nothing else. That sounds awesome. It's so much more open. It's, uh, yeah, wow. It reacts to pickups a lot. Let's turn that gain up. Oh, yes. It reacts on the front end. It's not surprising because of how much the boost compressed the front end. That just tells me that it's really sensitive to changes in the front end of the amplifier on this mode anyways. But like I said earlier, go to that 2B mode. Holy cut your head off with highs. Let's turn the presence down. Woo, 
That's basic. It like Ola said in his video, it almost sounds like it's turning your humbucker mode into a single coil. I really think to take advantage of that mode, you're gonna need a really dark and fat sounding guitar. Just keep in mind, 2B mode is gonna be really, really bright and open and chimey. All right, so now that we're back over to the 2C plus mode, we need our presence back. Oh, that just sounds really nice and open and angry. Let's get a little bit more volume, just a little. We've also got lots of string clarity, man. It just sounds, it sounds really good, okay? That's what I'm trying to say here. Let's turn that mid control up just a tad and the low control up just a tad to fill it out. Awesome, seriously. Let's turn that KHDK Ghoul Screamer back on that I had on the beginning of the video because it just really was gelling with this channel really well. Let's pull that gain back. I'm loving how open this guitar is, but it is definitely that added high end that these PAF style pickups have is kind of clashing with the amplifier just a little bit in my personal opinion. Let's try All right, guys, Silver Burst, Randy Rhodes, Jackson, uh, RR24. While you're at it, pour one out for the corner of this poor V because uh, all I did was look at it and it fell apart. All right, let's get rid of this boost because these EMGs are really not gonna need it. I absolutely butchered that riff. I apologize. I'm trying to remember how to play it. So anyways, let's go over to the Mark IV mode now. Oh man, it is really punchy over here. We've got a lot of gain. Let's dial that back. Sounds awesome. Let's tune down just a little bit. All right, so let's find out what it would sound like if Hatebreed played Mesa Mark Amps. So it really handles the EMGs super well. Uh, that mode handles the drop tunings even better than the 2C mode in my opinion. Still favoring the 2C plus mode though. I don't know what they did over on channel three here, but I just know that to me, I'm able to dial in a more balanced sounding EQ on this amp than I was on the Mark V. I'm digging it for sure. All right guys, because we can, 
Here's a seven string. Let's play one riff real quick, see how it handles the super low tunings. Can it do it? Yes. Do I think it sounds good? No. I don't think that it quite has the voicing in the mid structure in order to accommodate super low tune guitars. Uh, just for my personal opinion, like it's not a, not a super down tune tone that I would go for. But with that being said, I'm going to grab one more different guitar real quick. One of my favorite guitars and just play one last riff through this thing to send the video off. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today on the Mesa Mark 7 playthrough. What did you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Do you think that this is the best Mark yet? Do you think that the Mark 5 was better? I really dug it. I honestly can see myself spending a lot of time with this amp here in the near future. I'm really enjoying that 2C Plus mode. There are just a ton of tones in this thing and figuring it out is a puzzle, but once you get it kind of solved, you really do get rewarded and it can be one of the best sounding high gain amps. With that being said, thanks, huge thanks again to Zounds. I seriously can't thank them enough. It was awesome that they were able to send me one of these because they only had one left in stock and they were willing to let it be sent to me for a demo so I could make this for you guys. So again, if you guys wanna pick up this amplifier, they may have them in stock at the time of this filming again. I'll put an affiliate link down below and if you guys click that affiliate link, that goes a long way in helping the channel. Even if you don't buy anything, I really do appreciate it. If you liked the video and this is your first time here, hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I am going to possibly do a shootout with this amp and the Mark V. I no longer own a Mark V, so if you guys want to see that, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to put it in the comments so that way I can have Zounds send one out if there is enough interest. Again, really appreciate you guys being here. Thanks so much for watching. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time. You know what this wall is missing? Another ant. There we go.